Hello, my name is Simon Knights. I'm going to talk through configuring Web GUI Event Search to integrate with Operations Analytics Log Analysis. The first thing that we'll do is we'll go through the architecture overview and then we'll discuss configuring the various elements of integration between Web GUI and LA. Configuring Web GUI via the installation manager panel and also via server.init configuring JazzSM to import the SSL certificates needed to connect to LA and optionally password encryption so architecture overview this in this architecture, in the box, in the top left hand side, we can see the Om Omnibus Object Server and Web GUI. We can see a message bus gateway which sends archive event data to the LA server. And in the top right, we can see the Web GUI event viewer running in the browser. Um, when the user clicks on a chart, the event viewer requests um, the chart data via the via um, the uh, web GUI servlet then that sends a request on to LA and it uses an internal REST API between the event viewer and web GUI and, and it uses LA's external REST API to communicate with the LA server so data is retrieved directly from LA via the web GUI component it doesn't require a launching context in the browser side so it doesn't require a, a launching context to LA's user interface um, launching context is still available um, it's, and it's available for detailed analysis via SMEs um, via the existing right click tools um, the launching context for clarity the launching context isn't shown on this diagram as we're explaining the new features product dependencies um, product requires web GUI 8.1 fix back 5 Operations and Analysis, Log Analysis 132 or 133 and Operation Omnibus Insight Pack 1302. Configuring Web GUI integration with LA during the install. Um, if you select the uh, Event Search Log Analysis um, component during install, there is a, a new panel configuration for IBM Netcall Omnibus. Um, with log analysis and the top half the top half of the slide you can see the see an example of the panel so the URL prototype it defaults to HTTP URL protocol type defaults to, defaults to HTTPS it must be left as is because HTTPS is the only protocol which is supported when uh, communicating with LA the host name is the host name of the LA server Port number and context route are the port and context route of the app of the LA application. Um, they, they default to 9987 and Unity. Um, so if you're using an out of the box install of LA and haven't modified those parameters, you can leave them as is. Data source name is the name of the data source which has been defined in LA to store omnibus events. Um, this defaults to omnibus, uh, which is the name that the insight pack defaults to using. Username and password are, represent a proxy user which is used to issue requests to LA. So when event viewer charts are generated, this user ID will be issuing requests to LA. The user ID you define here must have, must have been configured to have access to the data source uh, defined under the data source name. So post installation, the, the, what, there's a post installation step which is to import the SSL certificates into the, from the LA server into JazzSM. Um, we will talk through that later. In addition to configuring the integration in the install panel, you can also configure it directly by, added, by modifying the web GUI server.init configuration file. Uh, we reuse existing Scala launching context configuration parameters. Um, and add an additional couple of parameters for the direct integration. Um, if you have configured launching context, uh, you'll be familiar with these, these parameters. Um, Scala.url, this is the fully qualified HTTPS hostname, port number, and context root of the LA server. 
Um, let me give an example here, https colon slash slash scala dot host dot com colon 9987 slash unity. Um, it's worth noting for launching context you could get away with specifying HTTP and the web browser would redirect you to the HTTPS page. Um, when you're doing direct integration HTTPS must be used. Scala.datasource this is the name of the OALA data source containing omnibus events and it defaults to omnibus. Um, a couple of additional parameters are required for direct integration support. Scala.integratedSearch.enabled equals true. Uh, this enables an additional tab in the event viewer with, this, with the search panels. Scala.user and Scala.passwords. The proxy user ID and password used to request data from LA. This user ID must have access to data source specified in Scala.datasource. Um, when the server.init file has been set up, the next step is to import the SSL certificates um, from the LA server. Secure Sockets Layer Configuration um, The LA server certificate needs to be added to the JazzSM Trust Store. Um, the Direct Integration REST API uses the default JazzSM Trust Store. Um, certificates can be added using the WebSphere Administration GUI. Um, to do this, select Settings WebSphere Administrative Console on the JazzSM console. Launch, click on Launch WAS Administrative Console. Select Security on the left-hand pane then select SSL certificate and key management. Click on node default trust store in the table displayed under related items and then select key store and certificates. Under additional properties select sign of certificates. You'll get a table of the current certificates. Click on the retrieve from port button. Put the LA server's IP address and port number in and click on save settings. and then you'll be ready to go. Um, you have the option to encrypt the password which is defined in server.init. Um, both AES and FIPS level encryption supported. Um, we use the same configuration as the existing trust store and key store parameters in server.init. To configure AES level encryption run the NCW AES crypt tool which ships with web GUI. Type the password you're using um, and copy the encrypted password that's returns. Edit the server.init file. Set the value for Scala password to be the generated password you copied. Um, something that's worth noting, the generated password is terminated with two equal signs. You need to copy the entire encrypted password as is, including the equal signs. Set the webtop password encryption property to AES set webtop FIPS to off. Um, should note if you specify the trust store password or key store password in for communication with an object server in server.init you will also need to encrypt these passwords as described in the encrypting web GUI password section in the omnibus no on knowledge center. So in the server init file you can either specify to encrypt all passwords or encrypt none. Um, you can't specify mix and match which passwords are encrypted. And FIPS level password encryption. Um, this is a very similar configuration to AES. Um, so you run the NCW FIPS crypt tool which ships with Web GUI. Put your password and specify the location of the Web GUI vault. Um, take a copy of the encrypted password that's generated. Edit the server.init file and set scala.password to the encrypted version. And in this case you set websop, webtop password encryption to FIPS and webtop FIPS to on. And again you should note if you have configured a trust store password or a key store password you also need to encrypt these passwords with a FIPS level encryption um, as is documented in the encrypting passwords using FIPS 1402 mode encryption in the Knowledge Center.